the purpose of human life, divine union with God, Theosis, and the divine inheritance. This is an example of a young woman who, through her faith, martyred and became a saint and caused many conversions even to her enemies. Saint Paraskevi of Rome. Her feast day is annually July 26th. Paraskevi in Latin, second century virgin martyr and miracle worker, Paraskeva. Paraskevi literally means preparation day, Friday, preparation for the Sabbath. Paraskevi is Greek for Friday. She was born in Rome, 140 AD to Christian parents. This is an icon that I've made of her a few years back. And here we are, the beginning of the icon. Her parents were of Greek origin. And as we go through the uh, development of the icon, I'll tell you her story. Agathon and Politia had prayed for many years to have a child. God graced them with a daughter. A baby girl was born and was named Paraskevi. Because she was born on Friday. Paraskevi in Greek means Friday, the day of preparation, meaning the day of preparation for the coming Sabbath. This icon is a three-quarter icon of her body. Paraskivi grew up to be a devout and well-reared, well-read young woman who was very attractive. She had many suitors who asked her for marriage and she rejected them. And after a time, her parents both died. At the age of 20, she gave away all of her belongings her possessions, and she became the head of a Christian community of young virgins and widows. In other words, something like a convent. She also began to preach the Christian faith. We have to remember this was during the time of persecutions. At the age of 30, she left Rome and visited many cities and villages. It was a time of great persecution of Christians, as we know. She was arrested by a Roman emperor, Antonius Pius, who brought her to trial for her faith, of course. He attempted to force the saint to denounce her Christian faith and even offered to marry her. But Eskivi refused and she went through trials and tribulations. She was tortured for her faith by having a steel helmet lined with nails placed on her head. But Eskivi endured this torture And her endurance caused many to convert to Christianity because that's when the miracles began. The emperor had the new convert executed. But Askivi was imprisoned and tortured. Being hung by her hair. having her limbs seared with torches. She was then immersed into a large kettle of oil and tar, boiling oil and tar, but she emerged unscathed. God was showing his protection of the young Christian virgin through her tortures. The emperor accused her of using magic to keep herself unharmed. But Askivi responded by throwing the boiling liquid into the emperor's face, saying, if you think it's not hot here, try and uh, feel this. As a result, he was blinded, 
and thus begged Paraskevi to cure him. With great boldness, she explained to him that only the God of the Christians could cure him. Antonius Pius, the emperor, asked for Christ's help and immediately he regained his sight. This is why this icon of St. Paraskevi shows her holding a pair of eyes in a dish. It is a reminder of one of her many miracles, this one of praying to our Lord and God Jesus Christ on behalf of the person who was her enemy and torturer, Antonius Pius. As a result, the emperor also became a devout Christian after this miracle and ended all persecutions against Christians in the empire because of St. Paraskevi's miracles. A short time later, after the death of Antonius Pius, the laws changed again, once again under Marcus Aurelius, and young Paraskevi was again imprisoned for her Christian faith. She was captured in the city governed by Asclepius, who threw her into a pit with a large snake. Saint Paraskevi made the sign of the cross and the snake was cloven in half. Asclepius was astonished and deeply moved by Paraskevi's great faith and as a result, he set her free. But this was not the end of Saint Paraskevi's persecutions for her Christian faith. In yet another city of the great Roman Empire, Paraskevi was imprisoned by an official named Tarasius, Tarasius in Greek, who placed Paraskevi into a large kettle of oil and tar yet again. But she emerged unscathed, causing there to be new Christian converts yet again. She was then tied and beaten, and after this, a large rock was placed on her chest. The next day, the saint was taken to the temple dedicated to the pagan god Apollo. There, she was expected to denounce her Christian faith and make her offering in the temple of Apollo. She went there without complaining, and Tiresias was praised for his tactics. They thought, that he had succeeded in converting her to paganism, but that was not so. However, once she got well into the temple of the idols and the demon god, Paraskevi made again the sign of a cross and the temple idols were all destroyed. The infuriated pagan priests of Apollo beat her and had her removed from the temple, of course. They demanded that Tiresias execute her before she could do any more harm to their false religion and their pagan idols. St. Paraskevi was executed by decapitation outside of the city. That was her martyrdom. The Athens, Greece suburb of St. Paraskevi is named after her, honoring her. Her holy relics, part of her cranium, is found at the monastery of Petraki in the Archbishopry of Athens in the Holy Mount Athos where the Holy Liturgy is held there every Friday, that is Paraskevi, every Friday in her honor. St. Paraskevi is very close to us who so revere her. She's quick to hear our calls for help. May we ha not have her holy relics close. We don't have them close at hand, but we do have her icon. Throughout the centuries of about 2000 years, she has been a tremendous help and consolation for Christians throughout the world. May she also help you First, may St. Paraskevi help you in strengthening your Christian faith. May she also help you by teaching you the strength of the sign of the cross. The strength of unending prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, the sinner, for ourselves and for the whole world. May St. Paraskevi, as our big sister in Christ, teach us how to love our enemies and pray for their conversion. Because as Jesus Christ teaches us in the Lord's Prayer, we will not be forgiven if we do not forgive our enemies. Lord Jesus, 
Lead us not into temptation, but forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. This is because we fight against the unseen enemy and spiritual forces. And so God has given us a cloud of saints and his angels and his holy mother of God to assist us and teach us. St. Paraskevi, a young woman, gave her all to serve those in need. She was not alone. She had the kingdom of God on her side. And where is the kingdom of God? It is here now in our hearts, the throne of God, Savior Jesus Christ, the triune God, who lives and works through his saints. God is glorified through his saints. And who and where are the living saints of Christ? We are, of course, we who love him and believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. We are his children for whom he gave up his life on the cross to save. Saint Paraskevi, one of the many Christian Orthodox saints who intercedes for us to God, whether we ask her to or not. May Saint Paraskevi from now and always intercede for your salvation and enlightenment. May her life be an example for us Christians to follow. May we come to know more of God's saints and come to imitate them and call on their never-ending help. Let us not forget that God has created man in his image. That is, in the image of being capable of reaching theosis, being united with God, the Son of Jesus, the Son Jesus Christ, the triune God, from now. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. It is here and now through our union with Jesus Christ as he teaches us. We have his saints, the true evidence of this being a possibility. God gives us his saints in each generation. And we have to decide, all we have to decide is where we want to spend the rest of our lives, which includes, of course, eternity. How ecstatic one must feel to know that he or she will be forever with Jesus Christ and his kingdom, together eternally with him, together with his saints who make up the church triumphant and are continuously assisting Christ's church militant, waging war against Christ's enemies on earth. May all of Christ's saints help us always. May St. Paraskevi continue helping us. For the glory of God, through his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Theosis in Christian Orthodox theology is the process of coming into union with God. This is achieved through love of Jesus Christ. Humility, our love for others, partaking in the holy mysteries of the Holy Orthodox Christian Church, Holy Confession, Holy Eucharist, and imitation of the saints, living our life imitating Jesus Christ. Saint Siluanos the Athenite has written, we will do our best and Jesus Christ will do the rest. This is the image of being capable of reaching Theosis, the triune God from now, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Thank you.